Henry Polfar, 28 years old, from Dartford in Kent, fighting out of Amigo Gym in uh, Orpington. My name is Mervyn Poby, I'm from East London. I start Spring Chart Fist, and I'm from the Dreadcallers. Well, past couple of weeks I've been training with um, quite a few different people, obviously for the show, but um, mainly I've been going down Kettles, doing some stand-up down there, going up Semtex, doing some groundwork there, and then going to Amigos as well, and uh, doing more groundwork there as well. I train every day. I've just been doing as I'm doing, training hard. Merv, mate, I'm here, I'm ready, let's get it on. Henry, ready for war. In our final quarter-final matchup, we see Henry Polfer, the personality of the show, fighting the old dog Mervyn Poby. This is an intriguing matchup. I've spoken to Henry earlier, and he said that the one thing that's worrying him is his cardio. But he's not going to hold back. He's going to come out right from the bell and try and iron out Mervyn. Mervyn's an old dog. He's been here before. He's a lot more experienced than uh, than Henry, um, but he's got this weird kung fu style. It can put some fighters off. But if Henry works it out, gets his range then I can see him taking the fight. But again, this is one that could go either way. I'm cool, calm, collected, and I'm ready for war. My opponent today, Henry, he's been a top bloke throughout. I ain't gonna bad mouth him, but it's time for business. You know, both these guys have trained so hard together and they've, they've actually created a great bond. I don't wanna see none of them lose, win, I think Henry's strong point is going to be on the ground. Mervyn's wing chunk sort of punch is going to be great standing up. Oh my God, I'm so gutted that someone has to lose. If I have to pick someone, I'm not going to pick someone. No, I can't pick. Let's just wait and see. Good luck, Mervyn. Good luck, Henry. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is in the Born to Fight middleweight division. Introducing these two born to fight warriors, the fighter standing in the red corner. He weighed in at 78.9 kilograms and represents Dread Quarters. He is Mervyn Poby. And standing across the cage in the blue corner, weighing in at 83.7 kilograms. Representing Amigos Jim, he is Henry Saucy Pulfer. The referee in charge of the action is Sam Amidi. Marvin Poby versus Henry Pulfer in the final quarter final. Of the middleweight born to fight division and it's a fast star rob mervyn very well known to wc mma fans he's held the title very strong very powerful fighter oh, I have too much trouble to down here and he has managed to get it it took a couple of vicious elbows on the way down so but poby tried this is to be in for mervyn poby it's a good round of passing the heavy shots right down here great round for polfa very good round here. Marvin doing well just to survive the end of that round. Great round for Henry Polfer. Tough round for Poby. Never really recovered once he was on his back. Poby. Second round on the way. He's just trying to get it back down to the mat. A lot of strength being expended though, Brad. Yeah, he managed to get his... And he managed to... End of the second. And for me, Brad, I've got to say, I think that's two rounds to Henry Polfer. Yeah, Not that we're judges, is. but, you know, that's just my opinion on looking in. Well, well I actually got the last one wrong for my, my prediction, so I hate to predict on this one either, but... May, uh, if Henry's not two rounds up, I uh... Both 
both guys. Fires round, trying to get the takedown. That's where he definitely needs to get his fires. Is yep, presses up, Kobe gets the cage. He's gonna try to get his fight to the mat. It's not pretty, Rob, but he's doing the job. That's right. And his hand gets raised. He's done enough. Find somewhere with some ground rock. Also again. Because he has a physical attributes right here, but he just doesn't have the technique. And that's the end of the third round, Rob. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. After three more fantastic rounds of Born to Fight action, we go to the judges' scorecards. And we have a unanimous decision in favor of your winner. From the blue corner, Henry Saucy Pulver. And presenting the winner's medal is a representative from Silka Carpets. Ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for a fantastic runner-up, Mervyn Pope. Henry, now we all knew you were popular, but I didn't realize you had this many fans. Um, show sure, no fans, that's the family. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, throughout this whole competition, you've been the cheeky chap. Everyone's had a laugh with you. You've even supported it, all of your uh, teammates. But tonight, you said, "Business is business. I'm taking the, I'm taking the win," and that's exactly what you've done. Are you happy with your performance? Yeah, I am. You know what? The man's a fucking warrior. He actually is. You know. He, I, I can't look. I look funny. I'm proud to have you. I've been your friend. You know, you're a good man. He's not smiling as much as he usually is, right? So he's in worry about it. That's because I'm fucking tired. <laughs> well, we definitely will be seeing you in our semi finals. Is there anyone you'd like to thank? I know you've got a huge amount of people over there. Do you know what? I'll thank every single person here, especially you lot from Born to Fight. It's been a pleasure. Mervyn, I could, do you know what? He's the one man I didn't really want to fight. Right? So I weren't going to say that, but he was. So I'll bring on the next man. Well, I've just had my fight with a disappointing outcome. I lost, but well done to Henry and all the best to him. You know, I should have won the fight, you know. I went in there to read the fight as it come along. Maybe I could have done a few things different, but it is what it is. And that was the outcome. What am I doing? Listen, the man's a warrior, yeah? I had to dig deep for that fight, I ain't gonna lie. Hit me with some good shots. But I knew like, I just had to keep taking them down and work on my strengths, you know? And my strengths on my ground, work my strength. And look, I just battled through and just got it done, you know? But I couldn't have done it without my team and all my family and friends out there screaming for me. But yeah, thank you. I've got to go, man. I'll see you later. That showed real heart, that fight, <coughs> real heart. I thought the evening was fantastic. I thought all the guys fought exceptionally well. Um, I'm not going to take favourites, I'm just all the lads were fantastic in training, fantastic this evening. I think the right decisions at the end of the night, moving on to the next phase. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I think this show has proven to be a spectacular event. Let's go and party, let's go and have okay. a bit of oh, speak up. Let's tell the boys. Get out of my face, you're doing my nutting! Two lights in the air, smell of Chinese takeaway, shadows filled with mumbling whispers, dreams locked in blockbuster billboard pictures. London after nine, nice suit and a kettle, open doors for ya. Millionaire alcoholics. Entries! Yes, we're in the middle. the fucking middle. Listen, we've just been told these guys are flying to Bulgaria for the semi finals. We don't know who we're going with yet. I just can't fucking wait. Cause that ain't a warrior, that ain't a warrior. We're going Bulgaria, we'll tell you soon who they're fighting. So I don't get it home. Come in. Hey, we'll see you in Get me one of them for real, for real. Stumbling around uptown on my ones. Walking around on my ones. Well, the party is still going strong. But when the drinks wear off, how will our boys be feeling tomorrow? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Today I am aching. It caught me with a good on the ear. Um, got a few good low kicks in. My legs all swollen. Um, and he, he hit me with some big elbows in the back, like, yeah, that was hurting him. When he was hitting me, I was thinking, fucking leave it out, mate, do you know what I mean? I'm so proud of him. 
but I was so scared at the same time. It was really completely, head was all over the place. Um, when he won, I was just so proud and so excited for him. But I'm also more fearful now because he's got another big fight and another big fight. So, but I'll back him, whatever he does, win or lose. So proud of my son. Next time on Born to Fight, we're off to Bulgaria for the semi-finals. But we've just found out someone is injured, so who will get the golden ticket back into the competition? We'll see you next time on Born to Fight. Eight warriors going in. Only one coming out. It won't matter what you said on Twitter. In the cage, you will get sparked out. I train like an animal. Bang, bang like an animal. My team is an animal. I was born to fight. I was born to fight. I was born to fight. Explosive power. I let my bombs go. Left, right, upper cut knees, elbows. Striking, grappling, full blown psycho, that's what's happening. In it to win it, I'll put it all on.